بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما you want to switch off the light and close the door please um, now uh, if you really study the Quran and the Hadith correctly you will be amazed that not only you, it's a proof that um, Allah Azzawajal, the one who created the science and created the universe and put all the physical law, biological law, um, it's not only what he created, it's also recorded in the Quran a lot about the creation, which prove that both the creation itself and science and all what you see around you and the Quran from the same source. And when you go look in depth into the Quran, you will find that uh, probably a lot of scientists took the clue from the Quran about uh, creation and they start claiming they discovered while um, I'm not surprised if they actually looked into the Quran and then stole ideas how the universe functioned and where it came from so um, we'll talk about like the Big Bang and uh, um, stage followed the Big Bang and the hot earth and enlarging the, the, the enlarging universe and the creatures in the universe and other planets and something else there will be quite a lot of uh, discussion if you can't see properly you can come forward a bit can you see from there can you see this time or well, there will be smaller uh, font in a minute so Allah Azzawajal said لَخَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَعُوذُ بِالْأَمْجِشْتَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لَخَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَكْبَرُ مِنْ خَلْقِ النَّاسِ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Verily the creation or assuredly the creation of the heavens and earth is a greater matter than the creation of men yet most men do not understand to create a man from already exist in existence calcium, magnesium, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen whatever it's already there but to create the carbon, the hydrogen, the oxygen <laughs> The iron, the zinc, that's the matter. So to create the universe from nothing is far much more difficult than if you have the raw materials. If I give you flour and butter and sugar and egg, you can make cake. If I say, no, you have to make your own egg, you have to make your own sugar, you have to make your own flour and then make cake. That's the, <laughs> that's the challenge. So the challenge of Allah is to create your own material which is out of the periodic uh, table. You have all these minerals and uh, and gases and things. Create your own. And that's difficult. So you have to submit to the one who originally created these atoms. And then Allah Azza wa said, أَوَلَمْ يَرَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ كَانَتَا رَتْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ Allah created the whole universe once in one lump, in one piece, and then he brought it apart. But the amazing, the amazing in this in this ayah, Allah didn't say, "Awalam yara ladina amalu." Didn't the believers see? He said, "Didn't the unbelievers see?" And guess what? Who discovered the Big Bang? Wasn't a man in in Taif or man in Mecca or man in Egypt? It was the unbelievers who discovered the Big Bang, that the universe was one piece, split apart. And you don't need to be genius to know that it was one piece. Because when you go around the Earth, every year you look at the uh, sky over there, you look at the sky over here, and they found that stars are going apart from each other. So they are going away from each other. All the galaxies go away, uh, going away from each other and all the things that matter inside the galaxy going away. So, so they came to the conclusion that the universe is expanding. So with pen and paper, you calculate where was the universe last year and the year before and hundred years ago, million years ago, and they found that the universe was one piece 13.7 billion years ago and brought about, mm -hmm. exploded because they say Big Bang because it's been going in all the directions in one time, spreading around. And then they were they use the, uh, the, um, the, um, the color shift uh, and they use the um, background, cosmetic background radiation and things. And they said because it met in Earth, so it came from this time. 
uh, came from all directions. If it was longer than that, it would have passed the earth. If it was shorter than that, it wouldn't arrive the earth. So, but it is the unbeliever who discovered that the heavens and earth were one piece and split apart. And that is what it said, And Allah just said, we made out of water from water every living thing. Now, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْ Carry both. Either every living creature has water in it, or life started in the water. And then spread across the land. So Allah said, ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ وَهِيَ دُخَانٍ فقال لها وللأرض اتيا طوعا أو كرها قال تأتينا طائعين then he um, moreover he comprehended in his design the heavens and it had been a smoke so the early universe was gas hot gas because it Allah said a smoke it's not like gas cold gas hot smoke the smoke is usually hot and presumably, probably it was the hydrogen level or something. And then he said to it and to earth, to the heavens and earth, come together willingly or unwillingly. Then they said, we come in a willing obedience. And he formed the galaxies and formed the seven heavens. And so Allah Azawajal created the universe, was one piece, split apart, it was a gas state at the beginning, formed the galaxies and formed the stars and formed um, the stars became cold from planets and things. What we don't know, but Lazarus said he created the heavens and earth at the same time. A lot of the scientists try to say, be smart and say, oh, our earth created four billion years ago, five billion years ago, because another, another sun exploded. Now that's a debatable. They don't have a proof, but we have the proof from the Quran that Lazarus created earth and heavens. Whether he created all the heavens 13.7 billion years ago and the earth 5 billion years ago or no, we don't know. Allah Zawajal didn't put a time to it. And then Allah Zawajal said, Allah Zawajal created seven heavens and seven earth. Now seven earth could be like Allah created seven earth that are around the universe, scattered, and could be the seven layers of earth. But having seven earth is more likely Abdul Hadi. So um, it's more likely seven separate earth because of the another ayah I will show you in a minute. So there's seven earth like our earth existed. I was in uh, North Wales and there were a banner outside the church saying Jesus is God. So we went to the lecture and I asked a question. I said, how many sons God has? I said, only one. I said, uh, science say there is the possibility that there is 22,000 earth with the vast universe we know. So every earth needs another son of God. So at least God should have 22,000 sons to send. What about the other people in the other earth? They need to go to heaven as well. And I said, in the Quran, there are seven earth. The Prophet ﷺ looked in the sky once and he said, you see that bright star? They said this. He said, there's people there who are of light, you know. And they said, are they sons of Adam? He said, no, and they never heard of Adam. And they said, um, um, do they have, uh, uh, um, what I say, awesome. And do they have a breeze? He said, no, they never heard of a breeze. So there is other creatures in the universe other than us and could be, like Lazarus said, there are seven heavens, like uh, seven earths, like our earth. Then Lazarus said, the shams to tajri'i mustaqarrin laha, dhalika taqdeeru al-aziz al The earth is moving in predetermined direction to a predetermined destiny, and that's agreed by Allah Azza wa Jalla. They exulted in might and all-knowing. Now, when they discovered that the sun is static and the earth goes around the sun, they said the Quran is wrong. It's the sun who is static and the earth goes around it. And then they came to their mind, they discovered, no, actually the sun is moving within the Milky Way. 
The Prophet ﷺ said there is a gate in the west. It's 70 years wide. We don't know what speed. And he said when the sun come out of that gate, the day of judgment will take place. So what you need to know, the Milky Way, where are we now in the Milky Way, where our sun is, because all these are suns, and uh, where is that gate, and how long it will take us to get to that gate. So if our, if our sun is here and the gate is here, so the day of judgment will be, if you know the speed, you will know the day of judgment. So it's extremely difficult. Now, you pointed with your finger. You saying, I should la ilaha illallah, yeah? <laughs> Renew your testimony of faith. Are you with me, Tariq? Yeah. So, then they came back, oh, the Quran is right. It was always right. You can't fold the Quran. So they discovered, oh, actually, the sun. How do they know? How do they know the sun is moving? It's actually Andromeda galaxy moving towards us as well. Two million, two million miles um, a second or a minute or something is good collide with our Milky Way. So it, it's moving within the Milky Way. Um, so it's in the Quran. In the Quran, that it is moving. In the Quran, Allah Azzawajal said, لَشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا أَنْ تُدْرِكَ الْخَمَرِ وَلَا اللَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارُ وَكُلُّمْ فِي فَلَكَيْنْ يَسْبَحُونَ Now, he said, neither the sun will meet the moon, nor the night will outstrip the day. You wouldn't have three nights and one day, and then four days and one night. There's always one night, one day, which means the earth is moving to face the sun. That will be another ayah. And then he gave us the imagination that is actually your moon is around your earth, will never meet the sun. The day of judgment, Allah just said, وَجُمِعَ الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرِ we had an interfaith meeting with uh, Christian and uh, other faith. And I said, the Day of Judgment, it will be the sun will meet the moon. How will they be brought together? Because Allah said, when the sun will explode, that's a sign of the Day of Judgment. When the sun explodes, it will swallow all these planets around it. And uh, the earth will suddenly will be instant heat and uh, all the uh, ocean will evaporate and all become hot and things. Now, the sun exploding is a sign of the day of judgment. It's one of the one signs, of the yeah. It's a shemsu That means the earth is destroyed. The entire yeah. solar system. Yeah, yeah. This is why at that day it's the sun will consume the moon, the moon and the earth and the planets will around. Not, will there not be people left? When the day of judgment starts. We'll believe people who don't believe. Allah, the Prophet ﷺ said, the day of judgment will take place when there's nobody on earth says Allah, Allah. So, so no, no believers will witness the day of judgment. Yeah, but so if the sun exploding is a sign of the day of judgment, but it's not the start of the day of judgment. So. And I called it the hour. The hour. The hour. Asa. Right. Asa. Just keep quiet because more comes and then you understand. <clears throat> so the Quran indicating that the all moving in its own um, uh, each swimming within its own orbit. So the orbit of the earth is swimming in its orbit around the sun, the moon around the earth, and the sun around itself, and the whole of the solar system moving within its orbit within the um, galaxy, within the Milky Way. So if you look into the, the Earth, the Earth is moving like this, but it's going with the Sun in that orbit. This is why the Moon around the, the Earth, 29.7, 29.5 days, but actually it moves in shorter time if you don't take the movement in the Milky Way. But the, uh, the moon moving around the earth and moving with the earth around the. Wa alaikum salam. You missed part of the presentation. Um, so they will not, they're all moving in their own orbit beside the orbit around the earth, the orbit around the sun. 
um, because the sun and the moon and all the planets around the sun moving within their orbits inside the Milky Way and the Milky Way moving within the space towards somewhere. I don't know. And then Allah Azza wa said also, وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ آيَتَيْنَ فَمَحَوْنَا آيَةَ اللَّيْلِ وَجَعَلْنَا آيَةَ النَّهَارِ مُبْصِرًا لِتَبْتَغُوا فَضْلًا مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَلِتَعْلَمُوا عَدَدَ السِّنِينَ وَالْحِسَابِ That we have made the nights and the day is a two in one. one. All, all of them are day. And Allah Azza wa obscured the light from the night and while the sign of the day remain. Uh, we have made to enlighten وَجَعَلْنَا النَّهَارَ مُبْصِرًا the day will enlighten things. You will see things during the day. So you could see it because there is the sunshine coming, reflecting into your eyes. So you could carry on with your business. And then you will know how many years passed. Let me hide this. Which one make it hide? View. So what happened here? There's two explanations. Either there were no nights because the earth was a, a ball of fire, so it's not getting it's generating its own light, or at the beginning of the creation of earth, the air was very thin and it was ionized by the um, sunshine and enlightened all the earth, uh, the side facing the sun and the side not facing the sun, like the northern light. It's only left the northern light out of that. Before that, it was the whole night across the uh, planet earth day. So Allah made the, the earth at the beginning day all the time. Day and night, it's day. The one facing the sun is day, and the one not facing the sun, the sun, the, the sun, the light from the sun alienating the, the air and became a light, like a northern light, reduced light. So you could see the day, there is no night. So that's early in the creation of the earth, because it took the universe creation six days. So two days for forming the universe, two days for the vegetation and, and making water and things, and two days creating the animals. And we are created the last hour of the last day, which is Friday, the very last hour Adam created. So it was, the earth already went through the six days. If you divide 13.7, could be every day is two billion years, don't know. Because it will come later that one day for the side for, for Allah is equal to a thousand of few years, and one of his days is equal to a fifty thousand year. If you time fifty thousand years with the one thousand years, and who knows the length of the day will be like every day is probably a billion year. And then Allah Azzawajal said, Allah is the one who raised the heavens and expanded it, but there's no column carrying the heavens. There's no columns, there's no pillars carrying the galaxy, carrying the sun, carrying the, um, the stars. So Allah Azzawajal, in a way, he set all the universe in space. Now, the scientists said that what hold the Milky Way, the gravity, but they said gravity cannot hold the galaxies. So what's holding the galaxies in its places? There's another ayah Allah Azzawajal said, Allah yumsiku samawati wal arda anta zula. Allah get hold of the heavens and earth from disappearing. Either disappearing, going far away, very fast, or disappearing, just to remove the clue, the, the glue in between the subatoms, and there's no atoms. So if you remove the glues, there's no atoms. There's no quark up, quark down, and all these. So you have no atoms, no oxygen, no hydrogen, nothing. Vanish, disappear. So Allah Azza said in the Quran, فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِرَبِّ الْمَشَارِقِ وَالْمَغَارِبِ إِنَّا لَقَادِرُونَ so Allah says that he's the God of the Easts, plural, and the Wests, plural. So you have two, every 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 minute there is a, a, a sunrise and sunset because the Earths keep moving. And also you have the East, the sun comes from the far north, far, far north in the winter, and 
keep going to the south until the far south. So you have the earth tilting. So this is why Rabbul Mashariq, east, and Rabbul Magharib, west. You don't have only one east and one west. You have one west and one east because the earth turning every minute. And you have the earth every six months, the, the sun goes down to south and then go back to north. So it goes, um, this is why they have stone hinge. Oh, 21st of June, oh, the sun will come from there. Allah created that. Allah made the sun, the earth move, tilt, so the sun will appear as the sun is moving. So many east, so many west. And Allah as I said, we did construct the heavens and earth with mighty power, mighty hand, and we will enlarge it. Allah will make the universe larger and larger. And I told you before that they discovered now it's moving even faster than the speed of light and they cannot find an answer unless the universe itself have a structure and okay. Allah stretching it. So if Allah stretching the universe and has a, a, a structure, it will pull with it the galaxies. So the galaxies moving away from each other, not because they have energy and there is a jet engine pushing them, there's someone pulling them apart. They thought the initial uh, initial uh, Big Bang. Uh, Amar, my grandson, he was discussing with his friends and he said to them, if the Big Bang was incident, accident, happened by chance, why there's no more Big Bangs? 13.7 years, billion years passed and there's not another Big Bang. What's to another Big Bang bring another universe? So Allah is enlarging the universe. And he said, فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُومِ وَإِنَّهُ لَقَسَمٌ لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ عَظِيمٌ Furthermore, I call to witness that the setting of the stars, and that's indeed a mighty oath, if you but know. Between us and our sun is 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers. Between us and the moon is 280,000 miles. But between us and the uh, um, the Alpha Centurion, the second, like next star to us, is four light years. Four, four light years, which is 75,000 um, million, corrected. We need 75,000 years if we travel at a speed of 20,000 miles an hour to get there. So then the first sun, Alpha Centurion, next to us, is Alpha Centurion A, Alpha Centurion B. So Allah said, if I made an oath with the distance, the gap between the stars will be a mighty oath. But the, uh, the, the strength, the length of the Milky Way is 1 billion light year. You cross the universe, it's 50 billion light year. So it's, you're talking about light years, billion light year. Not like billion miles. So Allah just said, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَثَّ فِيهِمَا مِنْ دَابَّةِ so it's Shura among his sign, the creation of the heavens and the earth and the living creatures he scattered through them. So there's other creatures living across the universe we don't know about. But Allah said if he wants, he will gather them. We can't gather them. We can't get, reach them to meet them. There's no way. There's 20 million radio station rece radio receivers on all the time trying to receive an intelligent signal from outer space. And this has been set around 40 years ago. There's still no intelligent message came to us from the outside the universe. And Dabba here means people like us. Dabba. Why? Because in another ayah Allah Azza said, وَلَوْ يَأْخِذُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ بِظُلْمِهِمْ مَا تَرَكَ عَلَيْهَا مِنْ دَابَ وَلَا كَنْ يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ Allah delay us, delay the punishment. Um, and if God were to punish a human for their wrongdoing, and a human is a nurse, he would not leave on earth a single living person. So that here means people. So the previous ayah, if he, uh, if there's Dabba, which means there is people in the scattered across the universe. They went to the Antarctica and tried to find meteorites and analyze it. Meteorites not polluted by the Earth's atmosphere, frozen for millions of years, and they found inside these meteorites there is lipid. 
and the lipid can only come from living creatures. So there is metras coming from outer space, scanning lipid, landing on Earth, showing there is sign of life in other parts of the universe where we, we are still searching. They sent Apollo 11 or 10. It's around now billions of years, uh, billions of miles away from us. Um, and then Allah said, so Daba means people. And then he said, فَارِقُ الْإِصْبَاحِ وَجَعَلَ اللَّيْلَ سَكَنًا وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ حُسْبَانًا ذَلِكَ تَغْضِيرُ الْعَزِيزِ الْعَلِيمِ He, um, he, um, he is, he it is that um, cleaves the daybreak. Allah brings the sun and make the night for the rest of the tranquility. You work during the day, night for rest, and the sun and the moon for uh, re um, recolony, sorry, reckoning of time. Without the sun and the moon, we wouldn't know the day and the month and the year and the season. So Allah Azawajal made the sun and the moon a way that we know where are we in time. So people start counting. This is a day and this is now a full month because the moon moved around the earth. And, uh, and the, with this precise movement, they can predict when it's going to be um, leap here. The moon movement is more precise. You need to adjust the moon movement every 2,500 years because it's so precise. And still the Muslim, oh, we don't know when Ramadan is starting. Oh, we don't know when Eid is starting. Either Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. If you are from Pakistan, it will be Sunday. If you are in Morocco, it will be yesterday. While Allah created the moon in precise movement, we put on our side at the SIA.org.uk, when is Ramadan going to be till 2030? And we started from 2006. We never missed a year. So you go to the calculation, it's precise. Um, oh, Saudi are backwarded. Oh, the Morocco are ahead of time. Oh, in, in Pakistan, they need to see 180 people has to see the crescent. While the Prophet ﷺ accepted one. one. Why make it difficult? It's up to you. You make your life difficult. Because they went in Birmingham, um, they want a day of Eid off. So the council said, okay, tell us when the Eid is, we'll give you the day off. And they gave them the day, one year. And next year they disagreed with each other. Oh, no, no, we don't think you're right. Don't think you're right. Then there's no day Eid off. Tell us which day. Fair, isn't it? They want Christmas day off. Tell us, 25th of December, okay. Every year we will have 25th of the. We want Eid off. Which day? Oh, we don't know. We have to wait for, to see the crescent. And we can't see the crescent. We'll ask Morocco people. Or we'll ask uh, Makkah people. Or Riyadh people. And Muslims still, while Allah Zawla created it in precise movement. And he said in the Quran, Husbanan. So you could, you could calculate. You could make the hisab, you know. And هو الذي جعل الشمس ضياء والقمر نورا وقدره منازلا لتعلم عدد السنين والحساب. So you always know this is the beginning of the month, this is the middle of the month, and this is the quarter of the month, and the next fifteen will be in reverse. So will be um, the moon will be facing the east. Now it's facing the west at the beginning, and you count, and you you should be correct. If we spot the moon in Ramadan, oh, we have to wait till the end of Shaban. What about Eid al the, the Eid is day number 10. So you should know that 10 is going to be here. It's day 7, 8, 9, 10. So you should be precise. No, no, we don't believe the Saudi correct. Okay. So them, don't, some don't take as Arafat day number 9. No, it's tomorrow is Arafat. So all those in Arafat are wrong. They didn't do Hajj because... You, while Allah has already made the things is precise. Now Allah has already said, "And um, and the creation of the heavens and the earth made them, and they made and made them, and they So Allah has already said, after all, the earth was made like a bowl. Duhya. When when your mom makes the pastry or she wants to make a bread, she makes it duhya like bowl, and then spread it. At the beginning, people thought the earth is like this. And you go, you might fall here. Why well, the Quran said 1444 years ago? Whoever said the, the, the earth is round, they must have read the Quran. <laughs> I know they put a basis this, basis that. But this is the Quran saying the earth was made round. He made it round. 
And then Allah Azza wa Jalla said, "Alam tara anna Rabbaka ila Rabbika kaifa madda al-dhilla wa law sha'a laj'alahu sakinan thumma ja'alna ash-shamsa 'alayhi dalila thumma qabadnahu ilayna qabdan yasira." Have you not noticed that how you load thus prolong the shadow and if he willed he would have made it stationary then we made the sun its witness so Allah is saying the sun standing there witnessing and the shadow at the, in the morning become very long and then shrink and then become very long again and then disappear what that means that the earth is moving and the sun is static witness and the shadow appearing and disappearing so the earth is moving Another ayah, what are al-jibala, you see the mountains, tahsabu hajamida, you think they are static. Sunallah. Waleed has been delayed because I was, he was with me, so he just joined the last 10 minutes. Oh, you missed most of, most of the class, okay. He said that, he said that, he said that. So Allah just said, you look at the mountain, you see it's static while it's moving like the movement of the cloud. The movement of the cloud, you can see it because the speed is faster than the speed of the movement of the earth. But the earth is moving both 40,000 miles a day, 2,600 um, you know, kilometers an hour. So the earth is moving and the mountains moving with the earth. So the mountain moving, you think they are static, but they are actually moving. The day of judgment, Allah will explode the mountains. So some of the scholars told, oh, no, no, that the day of judgment, no. They said, look, 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 They ask about the mountains, they say, Allah will explode the day of judgment. What are the mountains? Like become like a soft uh, um, tissue, soft um, uh, cotton wool, scattering. While here, Allah pointing that the movement, the, the mountain moving with the earth and the static movement. You think it's static, but it is movement it's continuous movement but it is because we are on earth we will not see the movement if you go out of the earth you will see the movement because we are on earth but the cloud are not attached to the earth they move so Allah compare them to the movement of the um, protect yourself and your families from a fire, the fuel of it is human and stones. So how stones will be fueled for her fire? We wouldn't know. So how about we know? Until they discovered that, yes, you can split the atom, generate heat. You can fuse the atom, the hydrogen, split the uranium, fuse the hydrogen, you generate heat. So you can generate heat from splitting the atoms. You can generate heat from fusing the atoms. So Allah can easily split the atoms in hellfire and generate heat to barbecue the kafirin in hellfire. So how would you get fire out of stones? By splitting the stones. Allah said, وَنَّجْمِ إِذَا هَوَى now, where by the star, when it collapses, how would the star collapse? If you think the star is uh, um, hanged in the sky and fall, you're wrong. Uh, the star will collapse within itself. The star will not collapse, mean falls. When you go to the tafsir, the older Muslims, they didn't know how to sort of survey that. They said, how are falls? And they looked into uh, when the day emerged and the stars disappeared. How <laughs> disappears because the sunlight is too powerful. You cannot see the stars. You could see the stars when the sun is not there. But when the sun rise, the whole light will be invisible of the stars. The stars are still there, but you can't see them. Now, at the beginning of the month, when the moon is born, if it's the moon too close to the sun, you can't see it. <clears throat> this is why you need to wait at least 18 hours before you can see the, the new moon. But when Najmi Idahawa, when the star collapses within itself, how would, what will make the star collapses within itself? So the death of the star is one of three ways. Either that the star explodes or cool down or collapses. When it collapses, either form neutron star or form black hole. 
But Allah Azza wa made the oath in the beginning of Surah al Najm when Allah Azza wa was talking about Mi'raj. So the mighty of Allah Azza wa is shown when a star collapses and form black hole when not even the light can escape. When Najmi is a big oath. Most Muslims still don't know how important. I did that on um, a video um, three, two years ago, I think. It's one of the videos shown, I made it in Arabic, seen by nearly 12,000 people. People usually see my video 20 times or 50 times or whatever, but this video was, was seen by nearly 12,000 people. And then Allah just said, وَأَخَذَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا الصَّيْحَةَ فَأَصْبَحُوا فِي دِيَارِهِمْ جَاسِمِينَ That sound kill and the mighty sound overtook the wrongdoers at the time of uh, Thamud and they were dead. Who knew the time of the Prophet ﷺ that sound killed? Sound kills. Mighty sound could kill quite easily. Now sound could deafen people. Sound could break windows. The Israelis used to pass over Damascus and break the, the sound barrier and they break half of the windows of the um, people in Damascus uh, deliberately, yeah, just uh, showing their might. But the sound killed the people of Thamud. They thought they have houses built inside um, mountains. Who's going to demolish their houses? <laughs> Allah had all sorts of ways. So what he did, he made the day very, very hot and they went to their houses and the sound, he uh, sent the sound and they all died from the sound. Allah said, One shout, they all did. You don't have to go and shoot everyone. You don't have to have bomb it coming in bomb, a carpet bombing. Shout. One sound killed all of them. Science, you know, before science appeared. This is why I think is many of the scientists took clues from the Quran. Why he said this. In the Yawman and the Rabbika's relativity theory. Where it came from? I don't know. Probably the Messiah. One day with Allah is equal to a thousand years of your time. How can be one day equal to a thousand years? Depends on your speed. The faster you are, the shorter your day. Another one, تَعْرُجُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَرُوحُ إِلَيْهِ فِي يَوْمٍ كَانَ مِقْدَارُهُ خَمْسِينَ أَلْفَ سَنَا So relativity depends on your speed. If your speed is that much, your day is one day. If your speed faster, your one day is a thousand years. Is your speed faster than your one day equal to 50,000 years? So who's talking? The Creator. For Allah Azza wa Jal, there's no day or 50,000 years. His day is zero. He's, he's, he's everywhere. He's in the past, present and future at the same time. Time doesn't apply to Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah created time and time related to your speed. And here, the first ayah, 1,000 years. And the second ayah, 50,000 years. So this, this is the relativity. When Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went from Maharaj from Jerusalem to heaven, he didn't go by the speed of light. Because Jibreel light, Jibreel made of light. But Jibreel and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sat in the Mi'raj, which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said is like a nest of a bird, and the Mi'raj went up. So what speed? To cross the whole universe and go across the seven heavens to the throne? Only, only Allah knows. How it happened? If I want a, a child to give me you know, the remote here, a child here, he will go around the table to get the uh, remote and come and give it to me. But if I want to give it to him, just matter from A to B. So this is relativity came from the Quran. <coughs> oh, no, no, it's Einstein. <laughs> Fine if you think Einstein, Einstein. Why Allah put these ayahs in the Quran? One day equal to a thousand years. How can you receive that? Allah الذي يرسل الرياح فتثير سحابا فيبسطه في السماء كيف يشاء فما يجعله كسبا. How the cloud formed evaporate from the ocean? What temperature? Allah put fire inside the ocean to 100 degree? No. Allah Azza wa Jalla said He sent the wind, agitate the water, and carry it, make it cloud. And still the water is 20 degree or 15 degree. Even five degree, even two degree. If you spill water in your kitchen, if you have like you know, ceramic kitchen, spill water, it will evaporate. 
in no time. Although the temperature could be three or five or, or seven, with the time evaporate, a riyah take it away. And this is the pollution. ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت أيدي الناس. Corruption appeared in the heavens and earth because of the what mankind, what man, mankind the hands has done. So, so when you go, I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of eyes in the Quran. I can't bring all of them, but they'll bring some every time. Depends on the subject. But the creator of the universe and the one who sent the Quran is the same. He knows what he created and he told us about what he created in the Quran when science never existed 1444 years ago through a man who never learned how to read and write, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this is why the belief in, in Muslims' hearts should be far stronger than anyone could imagine. I need to stamp number three on your way out. If you switch on the light, please. Sir.